this is how you can prepare a boot camp image of your Windows Drive. The first thing you have to do is start up disk utility. Once you have started up the disk utility, you have to mount the boot camp drive as it is grayed out right now. Select it. The fourth icon on top is a mounting icon. Once you click that one, your boot camp is now mounted. The next thing you have to do is you have to create a new image. Before creating a new image, you will need to prepare the drive onto which you're going to back up this new image. In this case, I'm going to use the volume called new volume and I'm going to format it to the ext fat. And in order to do that, I have to erase the drive. So make sure that you do not have any data on it. Name the drive as you please. and then format the drive. When you format it, make sure you have chosen the right uh, format so that it is readable by your Mac. The next thing to do is create a new image and when you select that, you also have a choice of selecting the type of image it should be compressed format. <laughs> now the process of backing up starts or creating an image starts. It's going to take some time depending upon the data that you have on your bootcamp drive. There are two reasons for creating a backup of your bootcamp Windows drive. The first one is simple. If you're not a person who backs up your drive using Time Machine, this would be one alternative way for having your data safe. The second reason would be if you're trying to upgrade your Mac OS to Mavericks, there are a lot of reports out there which says that the Windows partition could not be used after that. So if that's the case, you may use this Windows image and actually restore your files. And in order to do that, the first thing to do would be install Mavericks. Then using Bootcam, install Windows using a Windows CD. Once the installation is complete, you can back up Windows using the image you just created. That's a great way to get back all the data that you have on your bootcamp partition. And that's the reason that I created this backup. But fortunately for me, the Windows partition works very well even after the upgrade. So I'm sure that the upgrade, if it doesn't go well for you, you may try this method to restore your Mac partition, I mean your Windows partition using Bootcamp and the image that you just created. That's it for now. If you like the video, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.